So that it's just gonna, you're going to be making this route at different rates. Like this is a busy intersection. First performance for the camera, and then pulling the camera out and thinking of performance as live. It should be live. And ideally, there shouldn't even be cameras around. Uh, that the, the dress code is just what you normally wear. Just remain yourself. That would be what we prefer. Or what also is maybe um, comfortable in the action you are doing. Just, just to build on this, you can probably tell that the whole idea is that there's, not, there's no acting or pretending. Um, Somehow this is just done matter-of-factly in whatever clothes you're wearing, as if you weren't part of somebody's plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was less strange than I expected, mostly, and most people didn't act very surprised. Um, <laughs> but some people seemed really delighted and waved at me, and I waved back at them. Um, well, it was interesting to try and figure out um, one, one like moment, because it was hard to tell when the whole thing actually began, um, but, and then it was like, okay, well, what are, we, what are we doing here, you know, and then like, who am I communicating with? Um, I think it was kind of funny, like, you know, we were walking around with the umbrellas and people were like, it's not raining, <laughs> you know, and, like you kind of, you got that kind of impression from people who were walking. It took a few minutes before I felt like I might be overdoing it or something, but um, um, so then I just kind of walked away um, and then realized that I might be in a situation where people were coming from the painting and then seeing me with the jar or vice versa, that they'd see me with the jar and then find the painting. So I kind of, I kind of prolonged that a little bit and kind of just walked for a while. Um, well, we ended up just kind of speculating as to what was going on and if there were any like embedded participants around us or if there are any like what are the confederates like that were you know maybe staffing the the falafel plays and the thing that's cool about that restaurant is that it kind of you know it's very it feels very you feel very compromised because of the windows and it's on that busy corner so like what how like like they were grouped Which ones? by like yeah. five, yeah. right? Yeah, so like five. there's like one section where it's like, you know, five, ten, fifteen, and then twenty. So you could kind of predict, um, like when I would see. I could predict when I was going to see Emmy and like yeah. how down, how far down the block, um, I would be. So that was kind of it was like fun to guess uh, by our unique gate time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought the explanatory call was going to be a lot easier <laughs> until I actually did it and then it felt like a spy movie or something like that because I realized that there were things that I couldn't explain as I was going and Bob was getting kind of stressed out so I like, <laughs> he texted me earlier today and he was like this is the scariest thing I've ever done <laughs> so I to out you Bob <laughs> but um, so I was trying to sort of be like, like assure him that I wasn't like luring him into something really <laughs> awful or compromising or like painful or something um, but I was also trying Trying to you know make it very matter of fact, and all the meetings also felt very like sort of secret agent. Like so, at five p.m. This is where you're supposed to be, and then at five thirty this is where you're supposed to be. So that was the most fun part for me. Do you, what, would you be interested in meeting the person you were supposed to meet, or is this something that you feel is over and it's all fine as it stands? Well, I would would be interested in meeting the other person. Yeah, because I spent <clears throat> so much maddening time, sort of like looking for them um, it, it it got a little maddening um, in the middle um, because a lot of my focus at first was really on trying to find the person but then as I said like it became more about a walk with my dog um, once I started to think of it more as like a walk with my dog I'm here with Charles um, and Charles is half of our experience right now. Um, he's not looking for anybody, he's just smelling stuff <laughs> and exploring. It became more about that, like exploring Chicago.